Land Securities are bringing a fantastic art programme to the city as part of their Trinity Leeds retail development. We've got a number of artworks which will be permanently installed into the scheme and we've also been having a series of temporary events as part of the build up to the opening. I've had two roles here, first as the facilitator of the arts programme and also as a commissioned artist I've made OWL which is very much part of the city's heraldry and OWL will be installed as the first piece of sculpture inside Trinity Leeds. On a roundabout near Loch Lomond, yep. looking at your fabulous stag sculpture, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Well, um, uh, yes, Glasgow and uh, the west of Scotland, this is my patch around here, and uh, I made this particular sculpture, it was installed at the beginning of this year in fact, and I suppose it's uh, typical of some of the works that I've done around this area. I've uh, made my career here, although I'm lucky enough to have travelled quite a bit around the world and done a few pieces internationally, so it's, it's been a rich and varied career. But the, uh, the reason we're here, I suppose, really is to see the pieces I'm making for Trinity. This particular piece here is the, the female figure, the draped female figure that's going to be in uh, the Brigitte. And what you're looking at is, is essentially the frame, the steel skeleton, if you like, or the exoskeleton, which I then work onto and clad with steel. Over in the background, though, I have the, uh, the big fella, the pack horse. And uh, this is the piece that's going actually inside the, the sort of central atrium. And uh, the same technique as with the, uh, the lady for the Brigitte, the female figure. It's a steel frame, uh, but this one's considerably more challenging and difficult to, to make just because of the, the, well, the scale and the, the actual steel, the material that I've used is much harder physically to work with and, and shape. Um, but I think it gives you a general idea of the, the scale of the piece. So how is this a good opportunity for you as a sculptor? Oh, it's fantastic. The audience that it offers uh, in terms of the, the population of Leeds, it's a city centre uh, location for the sculpture in, in one of Britain's major cities. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we want to bring artists into the scheme so that it, it provides additional places and spaces for the public to interact with, look at and just integrate into the, into the scheme. It's not just about shops and restaurants, it's about creating a space that people can dwell in and enjoy and that art programme forms part of that strategy. So what is the criteria for artists working on the scheme? Uh, the criteria is really quite loose uh, at the start. What we want to do is get the best out of the artists that we go to. So we start with quite a wide catch, uh, see how many we can bring in and then we whittle it down through the brief to bring on board uh, the right artists and the right solution. What we often do is we start with one thing and we end up with something quite different as the process goes through. But it generally comes up with some fantastic solutions, which we'll see later. I call myself a, an architectural glass artist, which means basically that I will do everything from stained glass to street furniture to public art features and everything in between. Well, I'm going to be doing some seating for outside Holy Trinity Church and they're going to be completely made of glass, glass hoops, and they're going to have a weaved texture on the, on the top surface of them. Now here is, is just a, a practice piece. It's, it's a large piece of glass, but it, I mean, it's quite heavy. It's 15 mil thick, and I, in the original seats, are going to be two pieces of 15 mil thick glass that are bent in the same plane. And eventually you get the excitement of actually getting to see people actually using the seats, which is, is going to be interesting because uh, I would imagine that glass seats in Leeds have not been seen in this way before. Chris, can you tell us a little bit about your background as an artist? Went to college in Nottingham 1977, left in 1980. And then from then, I started a company with my brother, Campbell Design and Engineering Limited, and we've been doing that now for 20 odd years. Uh, for Trinity Leeds, we're making a large set of um, gates for the main entrance. Um, the gates have got to function as a, as a security, but it's also got to be an artwork. I think one of the things that Trinity wanted us to look at was to make these gates not just ordinary gates that you could buy from a standard fabricator, yeah. but something that had some sort of artistic content. This is the initial model from hundreds of drawings and sketches. There's a screen there which, which uh, is in place all the time and this is the gate that will open and close at night. The challenge of the job though is to make it work um, in, the clo in the open position because that's going to be the position it's going to be in for 16 hours of the day. 
Well, as you can see now that they are at full size, about 3.8 metres high. We've got the main beam at the bottom. Which and is the, huge. It's huge. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's huge because it's got to fix a certain way to the floor. Yeah. Um, and the fixing has been quite sort of difficult, having a flange coming out of uh, what is a, a stone floor. Uh, it's got to be that big because it's, it's, it's hanging a gate of exactly the same size of about 800 kilos, and it's got to swing through 180 degrees. So, kind of working with Lamb Securities on a retail scheme, what kind of opportunity has this been for you? It, uh, it enables you to be more of an artist, be more of a creative artist, <laughs> and you can design something that needs to be specific for that place. As part of the build-up to the opening of Trinity Leeds, Lamb Securities commissioned a host of temporary events and installations, all designed to raise awareness explore different ways of working with artists and engage with people in Leeds. It's a special moment for the city, the first owl that's been installed since the millennium. The owl originates from the Savile family coat of arms. The Savile family arrived here after the Battle of Hastings and their owls were adopted as part of the Leeds coat of arms. There's many owls on buildings and structures throughout, not just the city centre on civic and private buildings, but also in the extended regional areas as well. And here's the latest one, the new one for 2013. Very proud of owl. Today we're installing the ball in gates, manufactured by Chris Campbell. As you can see, we've got it on the forklift at the moment. We're just putting it in position. Uh, it's one of the main entrances into the east atrium of the scheme, right next to Holy Trinity Church. This is a really exciting moment. We're just about to lift your gate in. How's this feeling for you? <laughs> a bit nervous. <laughs> 14 months to the making, this, and uh, it all relies on this one last lift. Make sure it fits. It brings interest, excitement, focus. I mean, the, the mall itself, as you can see, is relatively simple in its design to give the retailers the opportunity to make statements with their shop fronts. And I think this is one of the few opportunities that we've had as the developers, Land Securities, to have a focus, make a statement as part of the base build, if you like. So it's one of our shop fronts. I've got every confidence it's going to look fantastic. It's also thanks to the clients for having the, uh, the goal to actually do something like this. They could have bought security grills, put it in there, and but well, this actually makes a difference, makes such a difference. So what's it like working with artists then, Brett? I'd like to think I've learned a lot. I don't know if any of them would return my calls, but um, <laughs> I'm sure they will. I know where they live. The day of installation has arrived. The guys have come down from Newcastle with the glass and they've installed the stainless steel shoes which are now firmly fixed in the ground and at the moment they're gluing them down with structural silicon glue. I think it's looking fantastic. You never know exactly what it's going to look like to the day you put it in. I've got a fair idea, but it's still very exciting to see it actually physically, you know, from a little model to these on site. It's great. It's just wonderful. Other great Trinity Lead site-specific artworks include Andy Scott's Minerva on Brigate, Eva Maluznik's coloured atrium seating, and Mike Disley's Albion Street feet seats. Yeah, big day, yeah, yeah. This is what it's all been about the last 10 months, all come down to right now, with these slings. It's a bit nerve wracking. Good against them. Good. Get the bottom section to here first and then get the top section on top of that and then just all well, the rest of it comes together in theory. Tense. <laughs> 
almost a big moment. We're about 200 millimetres off a big moment. And uh, a dozen bolts or so. What an amazing sight, Andy. She looks absolutely beautiful. How did it go for you? It was good. It was a long, hard, hard day's work, but we got there in the end and it was fantastic. It went to plan, but I think that this takes a lot of effort and like, fantastic teamwork, some, some great guys on site. It was a really, really good day. Very enjoyable, and I think hopefully the end result speaks for itself. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. With their significant investment in the art programme for both the inside and outside of Trinity Leeds, Land Securities have not only delivered a great new retail space, but have also made their contribution to the ever-evolving cultural fabric of the city.